if you think that traveling with kids is hard, you might be making one of these mistakes. I'm Christina. I'm a traveler, a planner, and most importantly, a mom. I'm sharing my best tips to make traveling as a family a little less stressful. So put down your phone, pack your bags, and let's showcase the world. Traveling with kids is not going to be easy, but it doesn't have to be as hard as you think. And just by just by avoiding some of these mistakes, you can make traveling with kids exciting and enjoyable. I know that sounds crazy, right? So the first thing that a lot of parents make, one mistake that they make is not booking early enough waiting until they know that they had the time off or whatever they're waiting for, letting it slip through the cracks, that not booking early enough so they're not able to get their first choice. It's more expensive than they wish that it would be. I mean, you can have a wonderful vacation no matter when you start planning, but it can be a lot better and a lot easier the earlier you book. You're gonna be able to lock in lower prices. You're gonna be able to make sure that you get the first choice of everything you want. You also get to spread out the stress of planning a little bit. If you're trying to squeeze all this planning into a little bit amount of time, if you're planning like a few weeks, a month in advance, you have a lot to get done in a very small time, a lot of things to make sure that you have taken care of. Whereas if you book longer in advance, you have a longer time to make sure those things are taken care of. So you're not so stressed out at the end. So if you're stressed out planning at the end, you're gonna be stressed out on your, your trip. So planning earlier, helps in so many ways. Um, another big mistake is not including everyone in the planning. Obviously, if you have toddlers, that's not always possible because they don't know what you're talking about. But make sure you're including your significant other. Make sure you're including any other families you're traveling with. Make sure you're including your older kids because even if you're the designated planner of the group, whether that's by choice or it was forced, for me, it's by choice, but it's, in, it's going to prevent issues down the line. So even though they insist they don't care, they do care. And this happens every single time I travel with my brothers. They will tell me, don't worry, do what you want, plan it. But then we'll get there and they'll be like, oh, this wasn't on the schedule. Like I sent you the schedule 8,000 times. Why didn't you look at it? So you want to make sure you get them involved in the planning. Uh, what I like to do is have everyone pick one thing. And this, this goes for your family of four or when I travel with my extended family of 14. You want to have every person pick one thing, one thing that is their can't miss, they would be so happy if it happens thing. You'll find some of those things overlap, so it's easy to make sure everyone's happy, but you want to get that one thing planned. You want to make sure you have tickets pre-booked or whatever it is to make that one thing happen. Then anything else is a bonus. So everyone is happy. That one thing, um, I'm going to jump to the next ones because this kind of overlaps, is trying to do too much. If you try to do too much, then you're going to be stressed out. You're going, your kids are going to have meltdowns. You're not going to, they're going to be hungry. They're going to be tired and, and they're going to not want to go on to the next thing and have a meltdown. So you also want to make sure you're not trying to do too much. So if you have that one thing, I like to do three things per day. One in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one in the evening. And whether that is a tour or it is a um, museum or it is, it's a restaurant I want to go to, I only plan three things per day. Anything else is a bonus. I don't like to waste time wondering what to do next. But once that one thing is done, if there's still time and you know the kids still have energy and everyone's still ready to go, having an idea of what's nearby that's on the kind of backup list is great because then you can just do something on the backup list. Everyone's happy, everyone's ready to go, no one's burnt out. The next thing that is a huge mistake is not choosing the right resort. And this is hard because you go online and you do research, but the pictures look so good. You don't really understand the map and the location. So you end up in a hotel that's not what you expected and it's further away from everything that you want to do. So even though you saved some money, you're spending twice what you saved on taxis 
or transportation getting to where you want to go. So you want to make sure that you are picking the right resort. You get back and you just after a long day, you know, it's just the stress relief that, that you're in this place. You don't have to worry about getting back to it after, um, after a long day. You can just, it's cent something centrally located, something that appeals to kids, something that is, there's so many great resorts out there that, you know, are so family friendly that they have milk and cookies with turn down for your kids, or they have a special check-in for kids where they get like special gift bags. There's so many great family friendly resorts that I would love to pair you with. And that's something that I would help you with um, if you use a travel advisor. So that is another one of the biggest mistakes is not using a travel advisor. You're busy. You don't have time to plan all of this, do all of the research, find the right resort, make sure you're booking early enough, getting everybody everything that they want to do. Let me do that for you. Or it's another travel advisor. It is so simple to just make a few calls to your travel advisor, let them get to know you, ask the right questions. You do wanna make sure you're picking the right travel advisor. So I'll put a link to my video here on, on how you can do that, picking the right travel advisor for you. You want someone that you work well with and making sure that um, that all of your uh, likes and dislikes are, are noted and they are able to pair you with the right destinations, the right resorts, the right activities, so you don't have to worry about it. Those are five mistakes. I'm gonna include one more bonus mistake is going to the same place year after year. You know, you went on your first vacation with your kids, you enjoyed it, it was easy, so you go back again and you go back again and you go back again. And that's great. I do love doing that myself. I love going back to places that I've, I've loved. Um, I go back to Disney World year after year, but I also go other places. So typically we'll go on two vacations a year. We'll go back to Disney World every year and we'll go someplace new. And it's just gives your kids this other, other whole realm of possibilities, introduces them to new cultures and new experiences. And those new experiences are become core memories. Um, if you're an Inside Out fan, those core memories and those core memories help develop your child. So. Definitely try new places. Um, I have a guide 18 destinations, um, 18 summers destinations for every age. So you, it's broken up by your kid's age, some of the best destinations. That link is below. Make sure you get that. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you remember to take a break from the busy. Need help planning your next family vacation? Visit us at showcasetheworld.com to request a quote or schedule a free vacation consultation. Want more great travel tips? You'll find those there too.